All right, what we're going to do right here is show you um, a quick little setup for the um, Crossfire. Uh, I don't have the cover on it, obviously. Um, so far, it seems like a pretty decent quad. Um, I haven't flown it yet still. It has not done its maiden. Um, it's got some bright red LEDs in the back. Uh, it comes with a battery. It comes with a flight controller. Everything's installed. All you need to do is add your own receiver. And I have a um, AR7010, which is a DMSX uh, 7 channel receiver. Um, and it has its little satellite, and I've got the satellite underneath here so that I get the maximum amount of um, reception. But one of the hurdles I hit right off the rip was um, doing clean flight, and clean flight just didn't want to work. And to tell you the truth, I'm not going to be using this for really smooth stuff. It's going to actually, I'm going to put it through its paces. So we're going to really see if it'll do anything or not. So clean flight. Eh. I mean, it's nice. I like it. It was my first one. Well, actually, um, open pilot was my first one with the CC 3d, but <clears throat> this was my first naze one and, uh, I still have it down here. Um, so what you want to do is you're going to connect to it. Uh, you're going to plug it in. It's going to say um, the thing about, you know, updating firmware and all that. And then it's going to take you to the CLI. Um, personally, <laughs> I don't like CLI. Uh, I like the graphic interface, but the CLI has its uh, nice stuff. So when you go into the CLI, first thing you want to do in the clean flight is you want to dump all right when you hit dump and enter it's going to throw a huge long list of stuff out there and you take and you highlight every bit up to the first pound uh, which is pound version um, <clears throat> and you highlight and copy it when you highlight and copy it you're going to want to put it on your desktop or whatever on a new file um, just in case you lose it uh, this is what it looks like so this is pound version you get this you highlight every bit of this and it's a lot it's actually a lot lot and you of course right click and go copy alright when you do that you then exit out of clean flight and then you go to your beta flight when you crank up beta flight you plug in you're gonna basically do the same thing going into the CLI of beta flight and you then go into the little uh, square at the bottom where you type in your stuff and you uh, right click and paste and you put all that stuff in that you pulled out of clean flight and you put it into beta flight once you do that you hit enter it does crazy stuff it just goes through and goes through the whole line long line list of uh, stuff that it's programming and it shuts up by the way which is nice because this thing beeps like you would not believe before you get it installed and uh, once you do that <clears throat> then you can go in and you do your firmware flasher and everything's hunky-dory when you do your firmware flasher you want to go to naze and you want to go with your most recent stable and you load the firmware up online like that and then you hit flash firmware and it flashes no problem and everything's hunky-dory from then on uh, don't forget once you do your paste and you, it stops through that whole long list of uh, stuff to that it's programming it. Do not forget to type in save because if you don't save it when quadcopter shuts off, it forgets everything you just told it. So when you do that, you're up and going.
and that's the fastest way I have found. Um, it's the easiest, so that's what you should do.